The following program is sponsored by CBN. Well, welcome to the 700 Club. The federal government reopened today after Congress reached a short-term spending deal. Now lawmakers have to work together or Washington could shut down again in just a few weeks. The key sticking points once again involve immigration and possible legal status for the Dreamers. Abigail Robertson brings us the story from Washington. After days of round-the-clock negotiations, lawmakers finally reached an agreement to fund the government for the next three weeks. The House voted Monday night to end the standoff after the Senate did so earlier in the day. With the pointless, damaging, partisan theatrics of this government shutdown behind us, serious and bipartisan negotiations can resume. Senate Democrats agreed to support a temporary stopgap spending measure that reopens the federal government, but only until February 8th, after McConnell promised the Senate will take up an immigration bill, which includes protections for the Dreamers. Now those talks can get going again. Whether they bear fruit is up to all of us. Liberal activists blasted the deal, saying the Democrats had caved in, with some calling it the Schumer sellout. But Democratic leaders say McConnell assured them that even if there's no vote on an overall immigration issue, the Senate will still vote on a bill focused on protecting the Dreamers. To all the Dreamers who are watching today, don't give up. McConnell says a bipartisan group of senators are to thank for bringing the shutdown crisis to an end. But if lawmakers don't compromise on some big issues by February 8th, the government could run out of money once again. Reporting from Washington, Abigail Robertson, CBN News. In other news, Alaska was under a tsunami warning earlier today after a massive 7.9 earthquake off the coast. John Jessup has that story from our CBN News Bureau in Washington. John? That's right, Gordon. That tsunami warning was canceled after no waves hit communities along the Alaska coastline. The quake struck at around 12.30 a.m., about 170 miles southeast of Kodiak Island in the Gulf of Alaska, and triggered a tsunami warning for coastal Alaska and Canada's British Columbia. The National Weather Service sent alerts warning people to seek higher ground or move inland. The West Coast was temporarily under tsunami watch as well. During his second full day in Israel, Vice President Mike Pence visited the Holocaust Museum and the Western Wall, two of Jerusalem's most revered sites. He's also receiving high praise for a speech in the Knesset that won over the hearts of many Israelis. Chris Mitchell brings us that story from Jerusalem. The first official stop Tuesday for Vice President Pence was Israeli President Reuven Rivlin's house, where he repeated the White House plan to move the U.S. Embassy to Jerusalem by the end of next year. He also put Europe on notice that changes are coming to the nuclear deal with Iran. We are sending a signal to our European allies that the time has come for changes uh, in the Iran nuclear deal that will ensure uh, that the sunset provisions in the deal are completely eliminated. On all his stops, Pence has enhanced his reputation as a friend of Israel. He gracefully handled Monday's protests by Arab lawmakers in the Knesset. And his speech drew praise, both in the media and from the prime minister. You saw people standing up again and again, applauding you, applauding the principles that guide your policy, applauding the genuine friendship that emanates from your heart. The next stop in Pence's final hour was an emotional one at Yad Vashem with his wife Karen. Many observers note that the Pence visit is a personal pilgrimage as much as a political tour that's no more evident than here at Jerusalem's Western Wall. As the vice president concluded his trip with prayers near Judaism's holiest site, it was perhaps a fitting end to a trip designed as a search for the threads of peace in the holy city and the Middle East. Chris Mitchell, CBN News, Jerusalem. Thanks, Chris. And Gordon, with his trip, it looks like Vice President Mike Pence was trying to signal that he is a true friend of Israel. Well, he gave that signal and signal was received. Uh, but I think more importantly, uh, the outcome of, of what the, the peace process will look like going forward after the recognition of Jerusalem as the capital of Israel. 
uh, was long overdue, 50 years overdue. Uh, Israel designated Jerusalem its capital long ago, and it was unique, the only sovereign nation in the world where the, the world doesn't recognize Jerusalem as the capital. So to have that move, what, is it, what does it mean for the peace process? Well, hopefully it will convince the Palestinians to give up their dream of driving Israel into the sea, give up their dream of those things so that we can actually focus on peace. We'll be back with more of the 700 Club after this. When Bruce and Sharon Barnes started their own company, they were only able to bring in a few hundred dollars at a time. Today, the Barnes company is worth millions, and here's the secret to their turnaround. Bruce and Sharon Barnes are the owners of the BG Construction Company. They started more than 30 years ago doing small residential jobs. The first job that we ever had is BG Construction. It was only a $250 job. Business was slow, and soon the Barnes were in debt. Bruce and I were both young, and we had children, and. You know, it was a week to week, you know, to make, uh, to pay our bills, you know, to buy groceries. And all I knew was that there were seven days in a week, 24 hours in a day, and I had to work because I had three daughters at the time and we had to make it happen. Despite the hard times, they put God first in their giving. Whatever we had in the week, we gave some of that. We gave some of that. And God just continued to bless us and it began to grow. We went to $1,000 jobs, $5,000 jobs, and they kept getting bigger and bigger. Their business continued to thrive, but in 1994, they found themselves worrying about money again after they lost out on a lucrative contract bid. And then I started fussing at God. You know, I was kind of like, God, we should have got that thing. You know, we did this and this and this. And, and, and then God just spoke to me just like that. He said, you need to realize that I'm your source, not all these contractors that you bid to. And that's when this peace just came over me. We knew that God had just removed that striving that, you know, it's up to us to make it happen, but that he was gonna bring us through. Two weeks later, Bruce got a call and was offered a subcontractor job. That one job alone was to more than meet his business needs for the next three years. The more we were blessed, the more we gave. The couple increased their giving over the years, and as a result, they say God has continued to increase their business. One of the ministries they support is CBN. They go overseas with all the stuff that they do. It's an outreach I can't go do personally, but I can help finance for other people to go. Today, the barns are debt-free. They encourage others to trust God and give as well. I would tell people that he hasn't done anything for Sharon and I that he can't do for them but you've got to be willing to step out on faith. You've got to trust Him, and you've got to sow seed. If you just start with a small amount and start giving, you'll see how it changes your life. Bruce and Sharon got a wonderful lesson. When you understand God is the source, then everything else falls into place. Here's the principle. It's from John chapter 3. No one can receive anything unless God gives it from heaven. And Bruce learned that. God spoke to him and said, I'm your source. When you get that, when you understand he's the source, well, then life gets really easy. All you have to do is live in accordance with his instructions, what he tells you to do, what he's laid out in the Bible. When you do it his way, that's when the blessings come. Well, when Mike's small business slowed down, his salary plummeted and he lost thousands of dollars. But Mike and his wife had an unusual way to deal with the shortfall. And within a few months, they got their money back and much more. Since 1971, Mike and Liddell Briery have supported CBN. And last year, they decided to increase their pledge. But just one week later, they were challenged to honor that commitment. Mike had his own business selling insurance. And suddenly, people started canceling their policies. It dropped our income about $2,000 a month which is very substantial because like most people, we still had house payments, we had car payments, we had our monthly obligations of insurance and the light bill, we had all of that. It was scary. I really had to fight the negative thoughts in my mind. You aren't gonna make it. 
you won't make the pledge, you know, you're going to lose everything. It's like this. You've got doubt and you've got the answer. Which one are you going to choose? I choose the answer. Mike and Liddell honored their pledge to CBN. And then, just a short time later, Mike got a surprise phone call. He had inherited a small tract of land out of state a few years earlier. Now, an oil company wanted to buy the mineral rights to it. Two weeks after that, the Briaries got an offer on a property they'd been trying to sell for years. So within a four month period, God supplied over a half a million dollars. I mean, our mouths were just, just open. You know, we were just stunned and just in such, so excited, but we were just amazed at, at what God was doing in our lives. Not only did the money cover their pledge, it also restored their finances. In the material world, you can't explain it. But if you're a child of God and you have the confidence that He is going to take care of you, you just know that you know He is always going to be there for you. He's always going to help you. He's going to always give back more to you than what you give to Him. Since then, they've given above and beyond their pledge. They say giving is more than a responsibility. It's a privilege. I have to do for Him. I have to give back to Him. My obligation to God is to be able to share with other people what God can do. What can God do? When you start thinking that, asking that question, uh, how big is possible? Here's a principle. It's from Proverbs chapter 11. It is possible to give away and become richer. It's also possible to hold on too tightly and lose everything. Yes, the liberal man shall be rich. By watering others, he waters himself. Mike and Lee walk that out. You see the result. It will happen to you if you just follow the same principle. Now, I've got some wonderful news. Some existing CBN partners from North Carolina want to challenge others to give. So they'll match your giving dollar for a dollar to the end of the hour, $100,000. And let's pray. Lord, we ask for blessing over this. We ask for the increase that comes from you, 30, 60, 100 fold. Bless the partners from North Carolina who made it possible to issue this challenge and bless those who are watching and making decisions. Be with them, encourage them, for we ask it all in Jesus' name, amen and amen. 100,000 is the challenge, 44 minutes, 33 seconds is on that clock. Call us now, 1-800-700-7000, and say, I want to join the 700 Club. Now, how much is that? Well, it's just $20 a month, 65 cents a day. Some of you can join at a higher level. We have 700 Club Gold for you at $40 a month. Then we have 1,000 Club. That's $1,000 a year, and that breaks out to $84 a month. At whatever level, call us now, 1-800-700-7000. Terry? Well, when you join the 700 Club, we have something special for you. It's Pat Robertson's latest DVD called Answered Prayer. In this, you'll see stories of how prayer saved lives, and you'll also learn how you can unlock its power. Prayer is a communication with God. It's a powerful exchange between God and man. We're going to answer many of your questions in Answered Prayer, How to Pray Effectively and See God Work in Your Life. In Pat Robertson's latest DVD, Answered Prayer, you'll learn the biblical principles of prayer and how to get your prayers answered and hear miraculous stories of answers to prayer from Pat's own faith-filled journey. We share some of the lessons that I've learned along the way. Plus, you'll see dramatic, true stories of life-changing answers to prayer. God proves himself time and time again. He's in the room with us, answering people's prayers. I think I survived because God has a bigger plan for my life. The doctor was just like, I've never seen anything like this before. And he hears your prayers. And I never saw this coming. Every great work of God is preceded by prayer. Answered Prayer how to pray effectively and see God work in your life. Call now or go to cbn.com.
You know, I've been a believer for many years and I know the power of prayer, but watching answered prayer really reinforced to me again what God has to say about prayer, the encouragement he gives us in his word, the definition of what effective prayer is. I want you to have this. I believe it'll really touch your life. It's our gift to you when you join the 700 Club right now. And because we've got a challenge going, that means every dollar you give will be matched dollar for dollar. So your giving goes twice as far. You call now, we'll get answered prayer out to you and you'll have the satisfaction of knowing you're changing lives. Gordon? Anthony O'Neill is a best-selling author and financial consultant. It's a remarkable turnaround considering that a few years ago, Anthony was $25,000 in debt and sleeping in his own car. Anthony O'Neill speaks to students throughout the country about how to manage money. So have you planned for your money? It's a message he wishes he heard 15 years ago, when he was a college student racking up debt, trying to deck out his apartment. It empowered me because now it's like all my friends, I'm thinking all of my friends, I'm like, yo, you got some money. And before you knew it, I was in about $25,000 worth of debt within six to eight months. He thought it was okay because he was still able to make the minimum payments each month. Not even looking at the interest and none of that. So I just thought, okay, as long as I just make the small payment, I'll be all right. Then Anthony lost his scholarship and had to leave school. Soon after, he lost his job as well. As for those friends he had tried to impress, they were nowhere to be found. The frat brothers that I tried to please and try to be a part of the fraternity, they wouldn't call me back. My father and I, we got into an argument and it was like, no, you made this mistake, so you're gonna fix this. Before long, Anthony was sleeping in the back seat of his car. I'm homeless. I'm in the back of my car, and the reason why I'm here is not because of my peers, it's not because of my parents, it's because of me. I'm sleeping in a Walmart parking lot because of me. And I remember washing myself in the back of my car, and that's when my whole life just shifted right there. Then one day I just said, you know what, it's not the world's fault, Anthony. Your friends didn't force you to do that. You walked into that, you wanted to please them. Anthony went home and made things right with his parents. He got a job in collections and stopped spending frivolously. Within a few years, he paid off the debt. During this same time, he learned about tithing. And if you really want to live a prosperous life, you will give 10% and you will sow into others. And, and the Bible says it's, it's best to give than it is to receive. When I started giving that philosophy and just really teaching that philosophy and living that philosophy, I started seeing God open doors, a lot of doors. That's when Anthony says he found his true passion, teaching people how to manage money. And in time, he joined Dave Ramsey's team. Anthony O'Neill joins us this half hour answering your question. In the past few years, Anthony's income has tripled. Now, when he speaks to youth, he makes sure to stress wise choices and generous giving. Today, instead of living in the back seat of his car, Anthony is building a home of his own and hopes to pay it off within eight years. You need to give your 10% so you can be blessed. And I believe that when you're obedient and giving God tithe, it opens up doors to bless you throughout your entire life. Here's the principle, it's from Matthew 25. To those who use well what they are given, even more will be given, and they will have an abundance. But from those who do nothing, even what little they have will be taken away. You saw the turnaround in Anthony's life. It can happen to you. All you have to do is follow the same principles. And if you want to start a life of giving, this isn't some you know, slot machine up in the sky. This is something where you say, I'm going to change my behavior. I'm going to do it consistently. I'm going to do it repeatedly over the course of a lifetime. That's when the, the results come in is if you live within your means, you're not into consumer debt, you tithe, you save, those are the principles, it's really easy. If you wanna start doing that, call us, 1-800-700-7000, say yes, I wanna join the 700 Club. When you call, ask for Pledge Express, electronic monthly giving where the bank does all the work, there are no checks to write, and we can send as our gift to you, Power for Life, monthly teaching CDs, so if you'd like those, Ask for Pledge Express when you call. Let's go to Wendy at the phones. Wendy? Thanks, Gordon. Well, you've heard the expression, there are no atheists in foxholes, right? But when times get tough, everyone calls out to God. 
Is there a right way to do it, though? In the DVD Answer Prayer, Pat shares the story of when his family had a crisis and God told him what to do. My oldest son, he was just a little fella, he was burning with fever and he was beginning convulsions. And I thought, you know, if he keeps that up, he's going to have brain damage. So I was on my knees and I was just crying out to God, God, please healing, please healing, please healing, please, please healing. And he said, look, you think you love this boy. I love him a thousand times more than you do. Mm. And you don't have to talk me into doing something good for him. I'll do something good for him. So instead of holding on to my problem, I released that problem to the Lord. At that moment, the love of God just enfolded him and he was, the power of God touched him and the fever broke just like that. Experience miraculous stories like this in Answered Prayer. Pat Robertson's latest teaching uncovers the keys to help you get results, break down barriers, and build dynamic faith to receive your Answered Prayer. Available now. I love that. You don't have to talk God into answering your prayers. You don't have to beg Him. He's a good Father. He loves you. He hears you. And He always answers a desperate prayer. We want to encourage your prayer life in 2018 with this. It's past new teaching called Answered Prayer. How to pray with power and authority and so much more. This is our gift to you when you go to your phones right now and just say, yes, I want to join the 700 Club. It's 1-800-700-7000 is the number to call. Or you can log on to CBN.com. It's another great way to give. It's just 65 cents a day, by the way, to join the 700 Club. I know, right? 65 cents a day, $20 a month is all it takes to become a CBN partner and to do so much with so little. It seems strange, doesn't it? But when we combine it all together, guess what? It makes a huge difference. If you're already a CBN partner, thank you. You are making a big difference. But if you'd like to have a bigger impact in the kingdom of God and take it up to our gold level, that's just $40 a month. We want to bless you back with three of past new teaching, one for you and two to give away. If you can go higher, hey, a lot of us can. Let's take it up to our thousand club level, just $84 a month or higher. And we're going to bless you back with five of past dynamic new teaching called Answered Prayer. Hey, we all want our prayers answered. And it's so important to know how to pray and we want this to be the best year of your life so if you want this go to your phones right now and just say yes terry erica is a single mom who works two jobs on top of that she also homeschools her young son well there have been times when she had to choose between going to work and putting food on her table but erica doesn't have to worry about that anymore because of help she got from operation blessing Erica and her son Jeremiah love spending time being active together. I work at a gym and I teach gymnastics and so I guess it was kind of natural that he picked it up. He actually started competing last year and so far so good. <laughs> Erica decided to homeschool her son so he could keep his education centered on God. My mom loves me a lot and I love my mom a lot. I like being homeschooled because my mom can teach me. Everything he learns pretty much comes from God's Word. We're at church many times a week, and there's never a complaint from Jeremiah about going to church. He's always excited and ready to go. I do love Jesus, and I love Him because He loves me, and He died on the cross for my sins. It's a real blessing to know that the Lord is working in His heart and in His life. She works long hours to provide for her son. I'm a single mom. I have to work two jobs to make ends meet. I work for Chesapeake Parks and Recreation. I teach preschool classes, and then I also work for Hurricane Gymnastics, where I'm a gymnastics coach. Finances are very tight. It definitely is a struggle. Erica said her faith in God sustains her. There's been many, many nights after Jeremiah goes to bed. I'm just in my room on my knees. I take that opportunity to spend time with God and to give my burdens to Him. When the bills have piled up, she's made some tough choices. Many times I've had to say, okay, either we're going to eat today or we're going to have gas to get to work today. And usually when it comes down to it, I have to choose gas because if I don't go to work, then there is no other income coming in. It's hard when you realize food in the cabinet's kind of running out and there's no money in the bank account to buy more food to replace it. When a friend at church told Erica about Operation Blessing Partner, House of Blessing, she knew God had answered her prayers. I've been helped greatly. 
to know that my son doesn't have to go hungry. To sit down and share my story with somebody who cares and then for them to pray with me. I not only leave with my trunk full of groceries, I leave with my spirit renewed and my heart full of love. Having that prayer support and being able to put food on the table has lifted a heavy burden. I just want to thank everybody who gives and sacrifices what they have to give to Operation Blessing so that not just my family, but so many families can be helped and blessed by this ministry. Not only are you helping to feed our families, but you're feeding our spirits. You're helping people experience God's love firsthand. Thank you for giving to Operation Blessing and blessing my family. Not just feeding, but loving, reaching out, being relational with, praying with, making a difference, being there consistently. That's what you make possible, 700 Club members. We want to thank you for joining the 700 Club, and that's what we're asking you to do right now. At whatever level God calls you to join at, a general membership is just 65 cents a day, $20 a month, and that's a great place to start if you haven't joined with us before. But if you're already a 700 Club member, consider going up to another club level. You could jump up to the next level, which is $40 a month, that's 700 Club Gold, or go up two levels to the 1,000 Club at $84 a month. Our 2,500 Club members join us at $209 a month. Founders are $5,000 a year, and that breaks out to $417 a month. Many people join us as Chairman Circle members, that's $10,000 or more a year. Listen, we're making a difference right here at home and around the world, and we're inviting you to be a part of that with us. Come join us right now. In the midst of our challenge, your giving goes twice as far. Gordon? All right, we've got a $100,000 challenge. Let's get the red number up. 52,000 left to go, and we're going to take that red number down. Hillsville, Virginia, 1,000 club members saying, I'm going to Founder Plus. That's it. $6,000. And then from Sanford, Florida, another thousand club member saying I'm going to founder five thousand so dollars. Thirty-nine thousand is the red number. We want to go way over the top, so call us. Thirty minutes, thirty-eight seconds. One eight hundred seven hundred seven thousand. Well, in one remote village in Nepal, a trip to fetch water once came with the risk of tiger attacks, but that's no longer the case. Now the people there can have clean water pumped right to their homes thanks to viewers like you. In the foothills of the Himalayas in northern Nepal, every family in one small village donated their own money to dig a well and build a cistern for clean water. They were saving themselves from a lifetime of struggle. To get drinking water, we hike through the mountains to the place where spring water collects on the hillside. We use torches because the tigers and leopards are afraid of the fire. Mina told me she fetched water so her daughter-in-law Babita could take care of the children and animals. They thought the new well would help, but it didn't. We couldn't raise enough money to pipe the water to our houses. When we heard about how hard the entire community worked to get the well, CBN paid for all the pipes needed to get water directly to more than 200 families scattered across the hillside. That's nearly a thousand people whose lives will be changed because they have access to clean water. Now I don't have to get up at three in the morning and spend half the day getting water. I can spend more time taking care of our family and earning money working in the fields. More water for the animals means more milk for our family. Our children are healthy and the animals are healthy. You saw our troubles and gave us water. Thank you, CBN, very, very much. And thank you. If you're a member of the 700 Club, you're part of that. You're part of everything that we do around the world. Call us if you'd like to join. 1-800-700-7000. If you're already a member, consider going up a level. If you're already a 700 Club member, think about going to 700 Club Gold, $40 a month. If you're already a Gold member, think about 1,000 Club. That's $1,000 a year, and that breaks out to $84 a month. We also have 2,500 Club. That's $2,500 a year. Founder is $5,000 or more a year. At whatever level, call us now, 1-800-700-7000. Let's go to Wendy at the phones. Wendy? 
Thanks, Gordon. Well, have you ever had a time in your life when you've prayed and it seems as if God just remains silent? Well, in Pat Robertson's latest DVD, you'll learn what you should say and what you shouldn't say in order to have your prayers answered by the Lord. Can I hinder prayer by making negative statements? Absolutely. Uh, you know, the, the Bible makes it clear, is it? A man shall eat good by the fruit of his lips. You, your confession is absolutely vital. You confess failure, you'll have failure. You confess sickness, you'll have sickness. So when we praise God, it isn't so much asking God. That's the, the secret that people need to recognize is if you want to have an answer to prayer, you declare it done in the name of Jesus. Did you catch that? Pat just gave us the secret to answered prayer, and he should know. He's seen a lifetime of prayers answered. He said the secret is to declare it, not just to ask it. That's important, but declare it done in Jesus' name. Wow, that is revolutionary. Well, there's so much in here. This is Pat's new teaching on prayer. It's called Answered Prayer. Experience the power of prayer and so much more. This is our gift when you give us a call right now and just say yes. I want to join the 700 Club. The number's right on your screen, and uh, you can also go to cbn.com another great way to give. What we're asking you to do is go to your phones and say, yes, I want to join the 700 Club. It's just 65 cents a day. $20 a month is all it takes to become a CBN partner. Now, many of you are already there and you are making a huge difference around the world. But if you would like to make a bigger difference, I'd like to challenge you to go to your phones. It's a brand new year. Let's take it up to our gold level, just $40 a month. When you do that, we want to bless you back with three of Pat's dynamic new teaching called Answered Prayer, one for you, two to give away. And if you can go higher, Thousand Club level is just $84 a month or higher. We're going to give you five. We're in the middle of a $100,000 challenge right now. So we, uh, yeah, with 26 minutes left on the clock, that means every dollar that you pledge right now will be matched dollar for dollar. So this is a great deal and a great time to go to your phones. Gordon? All right, I'm going to add 116,000 wow. to this challenge. I'm going to take it all the way up to 216,000 and let's pray. Lord, for the partners who made it possible, to increase the challenge, increase for them, Lord. Open windows in heaven and pour out blessings they cannot contain. And for those watching, making decisions, speak to them, encourage them. For we ask it all in Jesus' name, amen and amen. 216,000 is the challenge. If we can get the red number up, 135,000 to go with 25 minutes and 19 seconds. Call us now, 1-800-700-7000. Well, as a former Marine, Frank Foster and his wife, Hiroko, have been stationed both here and overseas. They're retired now, but the Fosters are still helping people all around the world because of a partnership that began more than 40 years ago. During Frank Foster's 24-year military career, he and his wife, Hiroko, lived in Japan and the USA. Today, they're retired and settled in the quaint little town of Havelock, North Carolina. I was in the Marines quite a while, and I was drawn here because we wanted to be near Marine facilities like the PX, the hospital, things like that. Frank and Hiroko met nearly 50 years ago when Frank was stationed in Iwakuni, Japan in the U.S. Marine Corps. Frank knew Hiroko was the one when he interviewed her for a telephone operator position on base. I walked into the room where she was sitting, and this is hard to believe, there's a voice that says you're gonna marry this girl. I had to read some sentences and uh, he says, you're good. And well, that was it and I was hired. Within six months, Frank and Hiroko married. Eventually, they had three children and Hiroko became a stay-at-home mom. Then in 1973, Hiroko came across the 700 Club. She and Frank became CBN partners and have remained partners for over 40 years. We saw all the good things that uh, CBN was doing. Take a look at Operation Blessing, Operation Homefront, which we're a member of. Take a look at the number of wells that they've dug. It's, it's just endless and what they do, and, and all our money goes towards that. My uh, favorite is the Orphan's Promise. And every time uh, Terry Musen introduce what she's doing with the program, not only giving something, but they're building each child life. By 1991, the Fosters moved up to the founders level, which was 25% of Frank's military income. 
when she says, hey, we'd like to up the giving. It's up to you. It's up to you. I know I'm a part of it. I know I'm going to share in the credit with her with God because he knows my heart. I trust her. She trusts him. We're all in alignment. The girl knows what she's doing. Just do it and just make sure I got $2 for lunch tomorrow. <laughs> They are doing everything that we cannot do with a mere pledge and money that we give. They are just doing so much for the world. When Frank retired from the military, the Fosters remained faithful to give to CBN. Today, they're members of the Chairman's Circle, and they say they're happy to be a part of what God is doing around the world through CBN. We just go by faith. That's the only thing he commands us to do is go by faith. So how hard is that? Try Jesus and giving, and then you will be blessed because it cannot go wrong. Just try it. It's the only time we get to test God. It's with our tithes, our offerings, our gifts to him. And if you want to start doing that, give us a call. 1-800-700-7000. Say, yes, I want to join the 700 Club. We're down to 117 on this Challenge 217, 216,000 uh, is the challenge amount. We need to hear from you. 1 800 700 7000. And we're taking the red number down. Chandler, Arizona, 2,500 club member saying, I'm doubling to founder. $5,000. Pflugerville, Texas, a founder saying, I'm doubling to Chairman's Circle. Yes. $10,000. That takes us down to 101,000, 21 minutes, 21 seconds. Call us, 1-800-700-7000. Terry? When Mr. and Mrs. Zhao realized their daughters were both going deaf, they worked tirelessly to get them the help that they needed. But after emptying their savings, they were only able to afford one pair of secondhand hearing aids for one child. They said they were at a dead end until they heard about CBN. <laughs> Mrs. Zhao always got scared when it came time to cross busy streets with her two girls and often carried her younger daughter, Yo-Yo. I was afraid they would get hit by a car because neither one of them could hear a thing. By the time they turned two, they'd both gone deaf. When the doctor said they could never be cured, it felt like my sky went dark and I wanted to die. I wished I could give them my ears. The Zhao's worried that their girls would not be able to go to school, find jobs, or get married. They will be looked down on for the rest of their lives. The couple used their entire savings and still could only afford hearing aids for their older daughter, and they were secondhand. Secondhand hearing aids are loud. I make the sound of a cicada like constant high-pitched chirping and made it hard to learn anything. So the couple started working harder to save for new hearing aids for both girls. Mrs. Zhao got a job assembling bottle caps, but only made 35 cents a day. She also sold her blood. Mr. Zhao got a higher paying job out of town in construction and tried to sell their house, but there were no buyers. I was at a dead end. Sometimes I hated myself for not being able to help my daughters. I hoped some people would donate hearing aids. Soon a teacher told the Zhao's about CBN, and we made sure both sisters got brand new top-of-the-line hearing aids. We also paid for their language training. These hearing aids are great. There's no extra noise in them so both of my daughters can learn and play like other kids. It gives me so much joy in my heart. Now my girls can speak in sentences and express themselves well. They can get jobs, get married. They will have options in life. Thank you so much for your help. It's brought us so much hope. Now all my worry is gone. You know, it's hard to imagine the desperation a young couple like this would feel. Both their daughters, deaf, 
no ability ever to be able to supply new clear hearing aids for them. You made it possible for that to happen and you've opened up their world because of that. And you've taken that desperation out of the hearts of the mom and dad. There's such gratitude there now, such hope for the future for them and for their girls. Thank you, 700 Club members. Do you know that's what you're doing all around the world? That's why I'm asking you right now to go to your phone and call and join with us. Listen, when you join, I just picked up this, this CD that's on this table, Power for Life. It's a teaching. I want it to be yours. You're, if you call and say, I want to join the 700 Club and I want to do it using Pledge Express, we're going to send you one of these every single month because we want you to be blessed in your giving as well. So you'll have the privilege of knowing you're meeting the desperate need of people like you just saw, but also your own faith will be built by Power for Life tapes. And so will you call right now? Our number's toll free, 1-800-700-7000. Say I want to join the 700 Club and I want to do it using Pledge Express. Thank you. Gordon? Well, we want to show you how CBN is helping our nation's heroes. Patrick is an infantry soldier and newly married to his wife, Christina. Living on a sergeant's salary isn't easy. And that's why CBN's Helping the Home Front gave this couple a much needed hand up. Newlyweds Patrick and Christina didn't have much time to settle into married life. Patrick is an infantry soldier and was scheduled to leave for six months, just three weeks after the wedding. I'm very proud of him. It takes a brave person to do what he does, and it's scary that he's willing to sacrifice for the country that he loves. Both of them say what really sees them through is prayer. When I'm deployed, I pray all the time. I pray that she's safe. I pray that he keeps me safe as well. And I've found that he has been there several times. God plays a big part in my life and in our relationship and keeping me strong. He keeps me calm and he keeps me going. They also pray for their finances. With Patrick on a sergeant's salary and Christina still in school working only part-time, they knew they wouldn't have much. It didn't help that Patrick's truck needed repairs and they didn't have money to fix it. The newlyweds couldn't even afford to buy furniture for their first apartment together. If I can't get the household set up before I leave, I don't want her sitting on the floor. I want her to be set up. I want her to be not have any issues to worry about except school and her job when I'm gone. The couple had attended premarital counseling with ministry leaders Donnie and Michelle Bowen. The Bowens knew about their financial stress and contacted CBN's Helping the Home Front. We started planning. <laughs> Donnie and Michelle invited the newlyweds to their home and started by telling them CBN would fix Patrick's truck. That's great. Yeah, yeah. It, it kind of helps, huh? Yeah, it's kind of yeah. basically fix everything. And there was more. Helping the home front is also one to take you to Ashley Furniture. And um, bless you all with... <laughs> bless you all with um, some furniture. So as a newly wed couple going into a deployment, you can maybe put that money into savings. You got yourself a home. Yeah. <laughs> Gosh. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. That's nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> After arranging to fix the truck, they went to Ashley Home Furniture to pick out what they needed. Ashley's was happy to give CBN a big discount. The newlyweds settled into their new home before Patrick left. I'm very much grateful to CBN for doing this for the families that have to go through things like this. It's a wonderful blessing, and I hope that they continue to do it. Helping the home front, we want to help the active duty military families and recognize that they're serving too. Uh, we don't understand the sacrifice they go through, the multiple deployments, and we want to be there to honor them, to honor their service, you're a part of it when you join the 700 Club, so do it now. 1-800-700-7000. Now we're at 74,000 on the red number. We're taking the red number down. Yuba City, California, 2,500 Club member doubling $5,200. And then also from California, Anaheim, California, 2,500 Club member doubling yes. $5,000. That takes us down to 63,000 on the red number with 13 minutes. 
Call us now, 1-800-700-7000. Let's go to Wendy at the phones. Wendy? Thanks, Gordon. That's good news. Well, Martin Luther King Jr. once said to be a Christian without prayer is no more possible than to be alive without breathing. Praying is the most important thing we can do as believers, and Pat explains why in the new DVD, Answered Prayer. Prayer is a communication with God. He speaks to us and gives us help and direction. It's a powerful exchange between God and man. God is the source of wisdom. He knows everything. He knows the end from the beginning. He's the author of everything. And it is amazing how God will open up wisdom to you. Prayer really is an amazing tool that God has given us as believers. And sometimes, let's face it, we take it for granted, but prayer can move mountains. When in doubt, pray. When you're in a crisis, pray. When everything's going great, pray and thank God. We want you to have answered prayer. This is Pat's new teaching, Experience the Power of Prayer, How to Get Your Prayer Answered. We want 2018 to be the best year of your life. And one way to make that happen is to see your prayers answered. And guess what? God gets the glory when that happens too. So it's a win-win. How do you get it? You just go to your phones right now and say, yes, I want to join the 700 Club. 1-800-700-7000 is the number to call, or you can log on to CBN.com. If you're already a CBN partner at $20 a month, Thank you. You are making a huge difference around the world. But if you would like to make a bigger difference for the kingdom of God and see Jesus preached all over the world and help folks that are in desperate need, it's easy to do that. Let's take it up to the gold level, just $40 a month. When you do that, we're going to bless you back with three of Pratt's new teaching, one for you and two to give away. If you can go higher, we have a lot of levels here at CBN. Let's take it up to our 1,000 Club level, $84 a month or higher. You're going to get five. We are in the middle of a big challenge, $216,000 with just 11 minutes left on the clock. So I'm going to throw it over to Terry. Dita Palo is a young girl who's doing great in school. She's even passed on some of her knowledge to her parents. When her father lost his job, she taught her family how to pray. And here's how those prayers were answered, courtesy of CBN's Orphan's Promise. Dita Palo was at the top of her class, but one day her teacher noticed she was acting shy and withdrawn. She learned that Dita Palo's dad lost his job and their home. They were sleeping in their car in the middle of winter. I was so scared at night. I prayed, Jesus help me not to be afraid. I slept in the back of the car, but in the middle of the night, it got so cold, I couldn't sleep anymore. I told my parents we should pray and trust God because He is the only one who could help us. Her daycare center is a boarding school supported by CBN's Orphan's Promise. When we heard about the family sleeping in their car, we invited them to stay with us for a while. With our help, they saved enough money to buy a house. We also helped Dita Palo's mom restart a small business making and selling snacks. Now I know something good can come out of a bad thing. We lost everything, but now we have more than ever before. I don't know what we would have done without your help. Thanks to the hand up they got from Orphan's Promise, they now have a home and a steady income. And Dita Palo is doing great in school. God saved us. He is my king and I am his princess. I know Jesus is watching over my family. I love being here at school. I like playing with my friends. I am so happy. I am very proud of Dita Bello. She taught us about prayer. Because of what happened, I received Jesus into my heart. I know God has made a way for us. Thank you, CBN. 
Because of what Dita Palo is learning in that preschool that you make possible, she was able to share that with her parents. Her parents became believers. Every one of those children that you see playing on the playground with her are being taught the same thing. It's all thanks to your generosity and your kindness, your caring. You know, God expects us to do something with a need that he places in front of us. We can't do everything, but we need to do something. Will you join us in doing something significant in lives around the world? Our number is toll free. It's 1-800-700-7000. Call now, say I wanna join the 700 Club, and when you do, would you do it using Pledge Express? It allows us to put even more of your gift right into the lives of little ones like Dita Palo and her family. So you call now. Gordon? Well, survey, surveys show that most people become Christians before their teenage years. And that's why Bree and Cliff Patterson are sharing the stories of Superbook with their children. Bree and Cliff Patterson and their kids love Superbook. Bree likes to share Superbook with friends and family whenever she gets the opportunity. Giving extra copies as gifts for kids with their with their birthday presents, we'll slip some into their their gift bag. Or uh, when kids have come to trick or treat before, we'll pass them out that way. But I decided to take a couple to our local library, and they put them into the, actually the county's circulation system. So now kids all across the county can be exposed to Superbook. Three out of four Patterson kids look forward to Superbook movie night on Fridays. The youngest isn't quite ready yet. The kids like Superbook because they think Gizmo is really funny. Uh, they're always laughing. Even my two-year-old will laugh at the funny things he does. The dad said, don't go in there and get that. The jetpack and he just went in there. I like the songs. Sometimes there's songs on there. And I like the questions. Their favorite part is the Explorer DVD, the interactive portion of the episode. Or as Shelby puts it, It's a DVD that um, surprises you with a DVD that you didn't even have yet. You draw the character that was in there. Oh. We were drawing Queen Esther. Cliff and Bree have been sharing Superbook with their kids since Hannah, their oldest, was two. It just spurs great conversation and uh, it, it prepares their hearts for what is the real, what's the truth. And that's what I'm passionate about is the truth. I, w I want them to always be able to come to me and know they're going to get the truth. And that's why Superbook is a great tool for us as a family because I feel that it is, it is definitely grounded in truth and biblical knowledge. I choose CBN to support because I trust their integrity. Um, I trust the vision that God has given them. Um, that makes me want to cry. Um, and I'm just so thankful for the fact that they're raising up the next generation with Superbook. They're helping to lay a foundation for generations. Be a part of it. Be a part of taking the stories of the Bible to the children of the world. We're not just in English with Superbook. We're now in 43 languages from Hindi to Mandarin to Tagalog to Telugu. All the major languages of the world, the major broadcast languages, we're up to 43. Our goal is 55. We want to get the stories of the Bible to the children of the world. Once we're at 55 languages, we want to take it to 500 languages. And once we hit 500, we want to take it to as many as we can. You are a part of it when you join the 700 Club. If you're not a member, call us now, 1-800-700-7000. Five minutes left on a $217,000 challenge. The red number is going down $5,000. Here, a 2,500 club member from Concord, North Carolina, saying, I want to double $5,000. So, four minutes and 50 seconds. It should be 25 is the red number. There you go. Four minutes and 45. Call us now, 1-800-700-7000. Let's go to Wendy at the phones. Wendy? When Pat started CBN, he had just a few dollars to his name. Since then, this organization has grown to become an international ministry, and it's all because of prayer. In his latest DVD, Pat reveals what he asks God for when he prays. One of the things that people talk about a lot is they pray for wisdom. Jesus has all the treasures of wisdom, of wisdom in, in him. That's so, right. I mean, how do I acquire that? What have, you, what have you learned about wisdom? I prayed for wisdom, and I prayed for favor, and I prayed for the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Yeah. But I asked for wisdom, 
and it is amazing how God will open up wisdom to you. And you just, it's almost like, you know, second nature. You, you know what is the right course to follow in certain situations because God's giving you wisdom. Psalm 37, 4 says, delight yourself in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. God wants to answer your prayers. We want to encourage your faith with Pat's new teaching called Answered Prayer. It's our gift to you. How to pray with power and authority and so much more. It's all on here and you can have it if you go to your phones right now and just say, yes, I want to join the 700 Club. It's just 65 cents a day. $20 a month is all it takes to become a CBN partner. If you'd like to take it up to our gold level, we're going to give you three. If you can go higher up to our 1,000 Club level, that's just $84 a month or higher, we're going to send you five of past due teaching. So this is our gift when you give us a call right now. Terry? Roxana is a single mom who struggled to make ends meet, and that was before her home and small business were destroyed by earthquakes. But now she and her family are better off than before, and it's thanks to support from Operation Blessing. Roxana earns a meager living making and selling desserts in Mexico. She has to carry everything she wants to sell as her children walk with her. We get up at 4 a.m. When I make some money, sometimes my son will ask if I can buy him a toy. I have to tell him what I earn is just enough to buy food. Roxana is a widow who takes care of her kids on her own. She was barely getting by when a series of earthquakes hit Mexico and destroyed her apartment building and all her cooking equipment. I struggled so long and hard to buy my things. Now, I barely have enough to make a few desserts at a time. We knew we had to help her. So Operation Blessing gave her everything she needed to get her business running bigger and better than ever before. We gave her a brand new cart so she can carry all her supplies and desserts, cooking equipment, shelves, and much more. I will be able to work so much more easily. We even gave her kids the toys they'd only dreamed of. Thank you for all the things you gave to my mother, and thank you for my toys. Roxana has more than tripled her earnings, and with all the new equipment in the car, her life is a lot easier. This is the first time anyone has come and offered me such things. I'm so grateful. Thank you for everything. This is the first time anyone has come. That could be said in almost every story we share with you about the progress and the work that's being done by CBN around the world. And it's you. It's you from the comfort of your own living room saying, I can do something to make a difference in that need. We want to say thank you to you for caring about others. Believe me when I tell you, this day will be forever remembered in the hearts and minds of Roxana and her family. So thank you. Thank you for giving. Thank you for caring. Thank Thank you for being there. That's what joining the 700 Club is all about. Go to your phone now and be a part of this. We can touch and change the world on a thousand levels because Jesus loved us first. So you be a part of this. 1-800-700-7000. Gordon. All right, we're counting down to victory. Less than 30 seconds. We're going to count everything on the phones and we're going to see that red number go to green because we're hearing from Anaheim, California, founder saying you can count on me $5,200. Yes, and then Buckeye, Arizona. I didn't know they had Buckeyes in Arizona, but they have a Buckeye. Thing. Yeah, <laughs> maybe they migrated. Buckeye, Arizona, founder saying I'm increasing yes. $9,600. Hundred dollars, and then we need fanfare. We need trumpets. We need all kinds of stuff. Okay, you ready? This is from Palm Bay, Florida. One hundred thousand dollars. Thank you. And that's a green number we can be proud of. We had a hundred, two hundred sixteen thousand on the challenge. Against that, you gave three twenty-two. Here's a word from Jeremiah. Blessed is the one who trusts in the Lord whose confidence is in him. God bless, we'll see you again.